Sir, over here, I'm not using flash. <laughs> Look at me. I'm not going to flash you. There was no way we could tell the story without Leia. She is the heart and soul of Star Wars. Well, obviously it's 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 heartbreaking that, that she's not here tonight. Um, had she been uh, in the movie, had she been with us still, of course, we would have done more with her than we 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 did. But we had the opportunity to use footage and and allow her to be part of this. We, we were so lucky and sort of blessed to have that footage of Carrie. And so our first you know two or three months of the writing process were really just about how we keep Carrie and her heart and soul and brain and presence in the movie. And that sounds relatively straightforward, but it's an incredibly complicated thing to do. And so we're, in, I mean, obviously when, we, when you watch the movie, we want it all to disappear and you just to look at her and think that, you know, she's just part of the movie. That's our aim and, and, and try and be as invisible as possible. But to get it to that place is very complicated. So we're extremely proud of that. The last time I saw Carrie was in an ADR session at the end of episode seven when we were in post. And um, we sat on a couch together and she said, I don't look good, do I? And I said, you're gorgeous, what are you talking about? She said, no, no, no. I, I said, Carrie, it is my job to make you look good. So you will, all, you know, I will never use something of you that doesn't look good. And I feel like that is, like, I feel like for some weird reason that was thrown back at me. Like somehow Carrie knew to say that to me or something so that I would go back and do that for her on this <laughs> film, which I, of course, did. And. I mean, it was, it was like magic.